guys, it is Bookworm21, and today we're going to be doing another special two-for-one book review, so I hope you're excited because I know I am. Uh, yes, we have a semi-new location here today, but um, I'm kind of a couch-bound person today, so I thought I would give you an in-depth report from the world of Silverland. It's a comfortable place, it's cushiony, it's soft. And it has a good view of the TV. So, let's not waste any time. Okay, the first book we're going to talk about is another Amelia Atwater Rose book. Um, and this is In the Forest of the Night. Uh, this is one of the first books she wrote. It's it's okay. It's not a great book. It's it's a simple book. It's a immortal vampire shapeshifter. Um... It's kind of her life story and just what's going on with her. Um, good book, not great, but okay. Uh, she takes the form mostly of a like a hawk, and it's kind of her struggle against oppression in in the vampire world, and just like her personal biography kind of thing. Um, you can tell, I think, from Amelia in this one that she was about 15 when she wrote it. You know, it's it's pretty it's pretty um, thin compared to one of her other books. So it's like her first book. It's like the first book she ever wrote. So kind of kind of okay, not that great. Uh, second book here is Midnight Predator by Amelia Outwater Rose, of course. Um, this is an interesting book because. This book is about a vampire hunter named Turquoise Dark. Uh, that's not her real name. Her real name is Catherine. She was sold into vampire slavery and abused and finally escaped and joined a vampire coven mercenary group to hunt down and kill vampires. Um, she's pretty ruthless, pretty, you know, bloodthirsty. She's got a score to settle with her old master that owned her. She gets sold back into the vampire world called Midnight. Yeah, I thought the name was a little bit kind of weak, too. Um, so she gets sold back into Midnight and becomes a, you know, quote-unquote undercover slave of a vampire named Jaguar, who, you know, hmm becomes a jaguar when he shapeshifts. Yeah, we didn't see that one coming. Hello, plot hole. Um, of course, you know, she, he knows exactly what she is the second she walks in. They fall in love, blah, blah, blah. She has to get out because her old master is hunting her and trying to kill her. She takes a couple of slaves with her and shows them freedom and blah, blah, blah. Um, I guess in the end, it kind of just bugged me because Jaguar and her are in love, but nothing ever comes of it, and they're going to be together, um, and I guess she's going to work for him in one of his businesses, and then it ends. Yeah, that's the thing with the, these books that I have a problem with. There's all this build-up, and there's all this, like, tension and romance, and then... At the end, there's nothing done with it. It just, it's like, dun 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 dun. We're all waiting for the big final crescendo, and it, nothing happens. Um, I don't know, maybe in her newer book, she's gonna finally have us, you know, have a beginning, a middle, and an end. Not just a beginning, a middle, and a nothingness. Um, it's an okay book for, you know, 15, 16 year old. I, I really wouldn't buy it, I think. I think you could get the same effect by going to the library. Um, it's certainly not in the same class as, you know, L.J. Smith or Anita Blake. I mean, Laura K. Hamilton. Um, J.R. Ward, those are really good vampire books. Um, Lindsay Sands, you know. But, anyway, uh, it was okay. Not great, but it was okay. So, um... Yeah, let me know what you think and give me a give me a heads up. So until then, keep reading. Bye.